Welcome back to the Sanctuary and Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail. Gruznagex here. Last episode, we discovered how the regulate, or we were given a demonstration of how the regulators, those things on the citizens' heads, work. Um, and sadly, it's not anything good for us. It's some sort of soul recycling thing that I am not going to get into. If you want to know more, just watch the previous episode because to get into it here would pad out the episode. Let's get right down to it because our main concern is stopping Zoraja from continuing this madness. So let's talk to Kakuya and, com and continue our quest with the quest yeah, our, continue our journey with the quest, embracing oblivion. I swear I can talk today. Let's get to it. I trust you've gained an insight into the use of souls in Alexandria. It's shocking, I know. I was overwhelmed myself at first. I expect you'll need some time to digest it all, but for now, let's head back to Earth and Sky. At this rate. There's something I want to discuss with everyone. Let's take a moment before we head into the tunnel. I'm sorry for delaying us, but I have some thoughts I need to share. In both technology and values, it's plain there's a wide gulf between Tuliolal and Alexandria. And while Joralja knows everything about us, we know hardly anything about what he's become. Indeed. We haven't even seen what lies within that enormous tower, Everkey. So here I'd like to make a proposal. That is, we work with Kakuiha and her people. We need to learn as much as we can about the enemy. The quickest way would be to join hands with Oblivion. We've only just met them, I know, and we shouldn't be too quick to trust. But the fact remains that they share our desire to stop Zoralja. Sveen too claims to be at odds with the King of Zol. May I ask why you would cooperate with Oblivion instead? It's simple, really. Their leader is Erinville's mother. Meanwhile, whatever Sveen may feel, she is a ruler of this nation. There's a greater risk in working with her. And less reason to take her at her word. A fair point. Knowing Zoralja, we must assume that his arrangement with Sveen is not was not made without some consideration. All I know is that it would be heartening to have allies in this strange realm. I think everyone would agree that any help we can get would be welcome. Hold on. There's no guarantee that it's actually my mother behind the machine. Without seeing her in the flesh, we can't rule out the possibility of a ploy. If it turns out to be a trap, we endanger not only ourselves, but everyone in Tuliolal. As you say, we have no proof that it really is Kakuya. But I make my proposal in full awareness of this. Whether we're going to war or striving for peace, we need to learn as much as we can. Otherwise, I, I, we can't hope to do anything meaningful. As it stands, we know too little about this realm. We need to remedy that. We need to study the enemy, and when the time comes, strike down Zoraja for good and for and all. What's more? I trust you, Erinville. You've always had great instincts from your time training under your mother. 
What if I'm wrong? What if sentiment is clouding my judgment? If it's a trap, then we'll deal with it when it's sprung. <sighs> That's always the way of it with you. Fine. If you're set on this, then I'll say no more. Then it's settled. Let's head inside and secure ourselves some new allies. Let's take Ruby though. Only because motorcycles are loud. Oh uh, yeah, this way. There's something I need to tell you and your people. We came here for no other reason than to strike down Zaraja. What? I thought he was your brother. Do you really mean to kill your own kin? My kin invaded our nation and murdered our people. As vow of resolve, it falls to me to bring him to account. I am prepared to do what I must, and I won't hesitate when the time comes. Like us, you and yours oppose Zoraja. In light of this, I propose that we work together to stop him once and for all. I realize that this is sudden, that it's a gamble to trust someone you've only just met. But I would trust in the conviction of anyone who shares my goal. So fight with me, I beg you! As you say, our uh, goes a line, and I don't doubt your resolve in the least. If you hadn't proposed working together, I would have done so instead. Truth be told, it's been tough going at it alone. While we've gathered ample intelligence, we don't have the strength to take decisive action. Besides, how could we not trust you? My only son is with you, my fussy little bun bun. He's all the reason I need. Then it's decided. Here's to a fruitful collaboration. Thank you, Kakuya. Everyone. Together we'll achieve great things. I'm sure of it. And let's not waste any time. We've been wondering about Saraja's whereabouts. Is there a palace inside that tower? After a fashion, the king resides on the uppermost level. While Queen Sveen has a penchant for going out in public, he seldom shows himself. What's more, his movements are highly classified. Not even his commanders are privy to that information. If anyone knows where he is at any given time, it could only be the Queen. Even if we don't know his whereabouts, the Raja will eventually march on Tulialal again. That's when we can go after him. The drawback is we'd have to wait for the invasion to happen. Innocents would be put in harm's way. There's also the possibility that he'll leave everything to his minions and not command the army in person.
No. He'll take the field. That makes you so certain. My brother has always yearned to surpass our father. That's why he attacked Tuliolal. After waiting for 30 years, the first thing he wanted to do was demonstrate his newfound strength. But killing Papa didn't satisfy him. So now he's bent on proving himself stronger than me and Kona, who bested him in the right of secession. He challenged me to strike him down. He wants a duel to show everyone that he's superior to the Dawn Servant. And he won't let his minions deprive him of the pleasure. Then why hasn't he appeared and given you your chance? Surely he is aware of our presence here. At that, I can only guess. Perhaps he wants to dazzle us with his wondrous realm. But if he won't deign to appear, then we'll force him to do so. How's that? Even as we gather intelligence, we make no move to attack him. Show absolutely no interest in a confrontation. Knowing him, he'll tire of waiting and turn his attention to Kona instead. He'll attack Tuliolal again, like he said he would. I see. If you believe this is the best approach, then we have no objections. Any campaign against Tuliolal requires that Zoralja lead his forces through Vanguard. We'll have his lookouts keep an eye on it day and night. Such a strategy is certainly viable. If we're proceeding with it, though, we should warn those outside. Indeed, they'll need time to prepare their defenses. I should be glad to coordinate our efforts. I'm already in regular contact with Yishola, and we'll make sure to keep our comrades apprised of developments. You can leave Vanguard to us. We'll send word at the first sign of movement. It seems we have a plan. While we wait for Zeralja to move, you do well to prepare for battle. And it begins with familiarizing yourself with the technology that empowers him. To that end, I'll show you to Oblivion's main headquarters. Oh? I thought this place was it. <laughs> You're impressed to know that we're located right inside that tower, in the residential district of Solution 9. Hiding in a tree in the forest, as it were. Hiding a tree in the forest, as it were. The only question is how to get you through the checkpoint. Ah, about that. Sveen said that she'd make it so we could enter without issue. She did? Carriers. She's not supposed to have such authority over the centuries. If I recall correctly, her words were that she would register us as guests. I see. Perhaps we're in the clear then. When you're ready, come and meet me at the tower entrance. Before you head out, give us a moment to introduce ourselves properly, eh? After all, names are good to know when working together. Oblivion has operatives all over. We're the main crew here. I'm Geode, the leader of this hideout. And the dependable young twins behind me are Nostalgia and Wayakwe. I'm Nostalgia. It's a pleasure to meet you. My sister and I were born and raised inside the barrier. We've been with Oblivion for three years, and our main duties are surveillance and pr provisioning. Twins, eh? That explains the resemblance. 
Well, Yakwe is a Tonawatan name, unless I'm mistaken. That's right. Our mother is Tuliolan, and our father is Alexandrian. They wanted to honor both cultures. They're beautiful names. Thank you. Though I have no memories of my mother, I'd like to think I carry a part of her with me. So, what made you decide to join Oblivion? He wanted to avenge our father. Ambrose was his name. And years ago, he was taken away after a scuffle with a soldier over a disagreement. It was a minor incident, so at first we clung to the hope that he'd be released. But when months went by with no word from or about him, we made the decision to remove our regulators. We'd already lost the memories of our mother. We didn't want to lose those of our father as well. They've all forgotten about him now. Everyone who had known him. That bastard! Even here, he thinks nothing of his own people. Sometime later, we were approached by a men member of Oblivion. Hoping to get justice for our father, we joined the Order. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to darken the mood. No, no. I appreciate you sharing this. Together, we'll avenge your father. Thank you. Something tells me you have what it takes. You introduce yourself too. Go on. Um, it's pretty much the same story for me. And while mine is a Tonawatan name, I haven't the faintest how things are outside the barrier. It's my dream to go and see it with my very own eyes. My mother's homeland. Once peace is restored, you must come and visit. The wilds are beautiful, the food delicious, and everyone so nice. You'll love it. That's us here. You'll meet others in the back room. That's our headquarters. Some of them are a little eccentric, but they have good hearts all. Ah, Eleneshpia. One last thing. It isn't exactly my place to say this, but thank you for seeking out Kakuya. She talks about you so much, it's clear how important you are to her. Hmm. That's all. Be good to your mother while you still can, eh? Well, we'll let you go now. Feel free to use this hideout as you like. Meanwhile, in Everkeep. You've been consorting with Wook Lamotte. No matter. I do not know what you are scheming. But when your realm lay on the brink, you were powerless. You had no choice but to turn to me. Whatever sentiment you may feel for her, it is my power you require. Is it not? Ooh, you fuckwad. Perhaps... And yet, knowing the love that Wuglamart bears for her people, how she regards them all as kin, I cannot help but wish to spare her the same pain I have suffered. What's more, her friends possess new knowledge. Were we to work together, we might find another path. to consider it, but is there no hope for peace with Tuliolo? 
What we've already done may be unforgivable, but it needn't continue. You needn't kill your brother and sister. <laughs> I slew my only flesh and blood. Yet you attempt to sway me with an appeal to family. And therein, he is not the, the man he used to be. My father's final moments still fills me with disappointment. Age came for him before I did. For long years, I sought to prove the miracle. And weak as he was, defeating him achieved nothing. To kill them is my only recourse. Wukla Mountain Kona, who bested him as he was in his prime. Really? They are still your siblings, even if not by blood. That such bonds should mean so little to you. I am bound to no one. Serve none, save myself. I made that clear when first you spoke to me in the Golden City. Remember, I can easily kill your beloved family. If you would protect them, cast aside any foolish notions. Your wisdom and abilities are valuable insofar as Argos align. So think well before you act, Queen of Reason. <laughs> Absolute Bellin! Uklamot, if you are father's worthy successor, then you will find your way to me. But should you fall short, I will lay waste to Tuli Yolal. What now? But now we fucking lay waste to him. All right. You will be back in just a moment because we're going to take a quick break. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch, stay tuned. If you're watching on YouTube. Here are the links provided. See you in a bit.